Hi, and welcome to another video from MathsRevision.net Angles. Angles are the measure of the space between two intersecting lines close to or at the point they meet. Angles have a maximum measurement of 360 degrees around a single point. On a straight line, because it cuts the maximum 360 we can have in half, it has a maximum of 180 degrees. That's because 360 divided by 2 is 180. A right angle is half of 180 again, and a quarter of 360, which gives us 90 degrees. Now we move on to the slightly more complex related angles. Related angles are angles which have a relation to one another given various different shapes. For example, given this shape, we can see that because of the two lines with arrows marked on them, that they are parallel lines. This means that a line intersecting both at any angle will provide us with some different sets of related angles. Our first example is vertically opposite angles. A and D, as they appear here, are equal angles as they are vertically opposite, which also means B and C are, as well as F and G, and H and E. Corresponding angles are also equal. We can see this because the intersecting line crosses these identical lines at the same angle, which means they will also be the same angle. Alternate angles are equal as we know that vertically opposite angles are the same, then so must their corresponding angles be. For example, angles C and F. Alternate angles are often called z-angles because of the way they appear on a z-shape. Adjacent angles are angles that are next to one another, or share a side. Because they share a straight line together, we know that the sum of the two adjacent angles is always going to add up to 180 degrees. Interior angles are those that are not separated by any lines. For example, we can see here that D and F and C and E appear on the same interior shape. These angles will also add up to 180 degrees. Any two examples of angles that add together to make 180 degrees are known as supplementary angles. From our examples before, we know that if we draw a triangle between two parallel lines, we can prove that the angles within the triangle are 180 degrees. Because alternate angles are equal, we know that if we label this other angle X and this other angle Y, then both the x's will be equal, and both the y's will be equal. If we label our new missing angle z, we know that because angles in a straight line make 180 degrees, then our y, z and x must add together to make 180 degrees. Now, to prove how many degrees there are in angles within any quadrilateral, that's a shape with four sides, all we need to do is draw a line from two opposite points, giving us two triangles. And from that, we know that both triangles will have 180 degrees within them, so 2 times 180 makes 360, therefore there are 360 degrees within any quadrilateral. Thanks for watching. As ever, you can subscribe to our channel or go to mathsrevision.net for more maths revision help.